when it is so hot here on the Sun Coast, it feels like the heat's in the triple digits. That means a danger for heat exhaustion for us and also for our pets. And here with us now is Mark Chambor from K9 Corral to teach us how to protect our four-legged friends. But first, let's take a look at the dogs that are at K9 Corral right now. We love to see these guys. Oh, That's oh, Chief Mark, and Tori. They're oh. residents that come every day, uh, Chief and Tori. Oh. They're great dogs. They go. Oh, look at those smiles. Oh. That's Greta. <laughs> she's a puppy. And she's actually boarding with us right now, but she also does daycare, and she's in my obedience class. She looks very intelligent. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's Halo. Smile. Don't let that cuteness, he has a bark that would scare <laughs> you. But, uh, she's actually a very good dog, and I always get her mixed up with the boy. Now that's mm -hmm. Thor, our new mascot, on the top there, and below is Winston, who was from the Humane Society, and oh. they do, uh, Winston does daycare also. Oh. Uh, and Thor just kind of does what he wants. Oh, really? and, 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 oh, who do we have gosh. here who I think went to sleep during oh. your speech? This is Heidi. She got bored with the talking, so she decided oh. she was Oh, here she out. comes. She said, where's here my picture? Comes. Uh, where's oh. my treat? <laughs> Heidi is up for adoption. We have her here at the Canine Corral. And, uh, you know, she's a great dog, great temperament. <laughs> I imagine <laughs> I imagine Heidi with someone, maybe a single woman, maybe with red hair. Who knows? Oh, <laughs> I love really her. She's a really nice dog. Oh. She's she about is. five years old. Of course, we we have a hard time walking our dogs right now, Mark, because of the heat. Well, yeah, anytime it gets above actually 75 to 80 degrees, it can be uh, hard on your dog's pads. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we do not do and get on the pavement with the dogs because what happens is you have to watch what your dog is doing and that hot sun on that asphalt can be just terrible. Well, what about if they're laying around in the backyard? Uh, and they're used to that, but they're not used to this kind of heat. Backyard is good because there's generally grass unless they're digging big holes. <laughs> but you do want to be able to pro provide them with some shade. Shade is the ultimate key because mm. that will keep that sun. The sun is the, your worst enemy on a hot day like today. If we drive them around in the car, that could be dangerous too. Now, if you have air conditioning, it's not bad. But make sure they're secured in the car so they don't jump out the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were mentioning earlier, you're terrible. This guy's not jumping out. Their foot is similar to our skin. Basically. So the thickness of the pad on the bottom of their or their paw is is very similar to the thickness of the bottom of our foot. Oh. And if you were ever going to try to see how hot it is, walk out barefoot, mm. and you'll find real quick that it's probably going to be too hot for your dog. My to dogs, stand. the pads on my dog's feet burned off walking across the street to Venice Beach. So I know how Definitely. dangerous that can be. Well, what are signs that a dog may be in trouble? Well, first of all, you, you want to watch your dog for excessive panting, uh, as, actually gasping, or just something before. Uh, normal panting is okay because that's how they perspire. They perspire with air onto their tongue. However, they're going to go through ex excessive gasping, uh, a lot of salivation. Actually, the inside of their mouth will be dry or gray gums. So right now, anybody that's watching, take a look at the gums on your dog. They should be pink. If they're overheated, they're going to be gray. And, and look for their disposition. Are they lethargic? Uh, Want to make sure they're not vomiting. Uh, you know your dog. You know, look for different signs and different characters. How can we prevent this? Well, one of the first things that you want to do is do short walks. Mm -hmm. Don't think that the dog is going to be able to su uh, survive a long walk, even if you are. They, they will, will overheat quicker than we will. Short play time. Do, uh, do daycare at the Canine Corral. It's air-conditioned. Uh, make sure that if you do daycare that it is inside and outside. Mm -hmm. Lots of water for you and your dog. Bring it with you. And, uh, you know, on a hot day, if you're at home, keep the dogs in with you in the A.C. Don't keep them outside. You never should no. have to. Why do you have a dog in the first place if you're going to keep if it outside all the time? Is it okay yeah. to give your dog ice water? My parents used to throw ice into their dog bowl. Is there anything wrong if with If the that? dog is not overheated, ice is okay in the bowl. But you don't want to do that to cool a dog down uh -huh. as far as if they're, if they're experiencing heat exhaustion or stroke. Ice will cool the dog too fast. Mm. Uh -huh. You want to be able to cool them slower. That's good to know. So you don't want to put them in a pool. You don't want to uh, uh, submerge them to where it's so cold that their bl blood vessels start to constrict and then they can't cool because the circulation is. Well, been what slow. should you do then? Yeah. Well, the first thing that you should do is cool them down slowly. Seek shade. Get them out of the sun. That's the best thing. Don't run your dog to the vet. You may call the vet, but slow them down. Cool them down with even a hose, but with cool water, not cold. And do it slowly. Don't cover them, because if you cover a dog, even though they don't perspire through their hair, you, you're going to produce a, a sauna effect, which is not going to allow the dog to breathe. 
if the dog's hair is actually combed, or even if you have a thick haired dog, if you brush it and comb it, it'll actually help cool the dog also just because it's not compacted. Uh, and keep the dog circulating. If you keep the dog moving, the, the blood vessels will still circulate. And by the circulation, it'll help cool also. What about <laughs> the temperatures on asphalt? How hot oh my does God. that get? My, that's my biggest pet peeve is seeing people Your talking. Your pet peeve, I like that. Pet peeve, people <laughs> walking their dog on the asphalt, and then they talk to their friends, and the dog is dancing because it's mm. so hot. That pad is no, no thicker than our, the bottom of our <laughs> feet. Wow. And if you ever want to test it, just put your, the back of your hand on the pavement. This is 10 o'clock in the morning, 118 wow. degrees. Oh. That's yeah, I hot. Walk on that. I would be dancing on that. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't be happy. That's uh, noon and hazy, 131 degrees. Uh, and it doesn't have to be, wow. you know, it's 90, 89, 89 degrees on that one and hazy. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. You know, and then there's 141, wow. 330 in the afternoon. You know, oh, it, it, to me, it's abusive to have. I was yeah. say, you mentioned uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. your, your dog wants to seek shade. Uh, Heidi is seeking shade underneath Bo Bev. <laughs> <laughs> All the dogs I bring love Bo Bev. Yes. Yeah. She must Bo be Bev. a really nice person. Oh, this would be a wonderful dogs dog. Dogs are always a good have. sense of character. <laughs> yes. But, you know, the bottom line is, you know, remember your pet when it's hot. Remember your pet when it's 80 degrees out because it still can be hot oh, on the yeah. pavement. And get them off into the grass. Don't walk them on asphalt. That's, that's abusive. And of course, if you've got any more questions and you need a good dog daycare, Canine Corral, right it's caninecorralsrq.com. Thank you so much, Mark. Yes, welcome. That's really good information to know.